Hey y'all, <clears throat> excuse me. So I want to move from this darkness, this adversity, this distress and misery that we've been talking about and get to light coming. Um, this light has shined. It has beamed is one of the Hebrew translations of that. So our base text, so if, if I were to tell you what we are studying for the month of December and until the Lord <laughs> gets us finished with it, it would be Isaiah chapter 9. That is like my home base for this month's study of Christmas and Jesus coming and the birth of the Messiah and the difference that it makes. And I just want to recap for today as we close out this week, um, something that I mentioned on the very first day, and that is, no, Jesus did not break the power of death at his birth. When he was born, that wasn't when it is finished. That happened at the cross and when he walked out of that grave, right? But the beginning manifestations, that's what we celebrate. Hope that the <laughs> hope had come, promise was being fulfilled, and the finish, the culmination was on its way. So um, this intense darkness and the shadow of death and in our text in Isaiah 9 and I have um, found again in Matthew and in John the word is talking about us the Gentiles that the light has come to the Gentiles to those heathens who were outside of God's chosen people of course the Messiah came for the Jews too um, he came first to the Jews and then to the Gentiles. But he made a way for us to come in, to be his chosen people. And so um, Isaiah 9, <coughs> and let's go to verse 6. Um, no, that's not right. 42. Isaiah 42. I was in Isaiah 9. So the Lord is saying here through the prophet Isaiah, I, the Lord, have called you the Messiah for a righteous purpose and in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give you for a covenant to the people of Israel, for a light to the nations, the Gentiles. And that, it's, it's that light. It's that we are seeing the distress and the adversity, the frustrations that we are living in and recognize the light, that there is a better way, that there is hope, that there is salvation. Um, verse 7 says, To open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon, and those who sit in darkness, now this darkness here is the same darkness, this is distress. And those who sit in distress from prison. To open the eyes of the blind, bring out prisoners from the dungeon, and those who sit in distress, darkness from the prison. So the writer Isaiah, he, he equates darkness to distress and being in bondage, being a prisoner unable to escape, unable to come out of where we are, but the light shines on us. The light shines on us. Um, now, let's go to Matthew chapter 12. And in verse 21, it says, And in his name, shall the Gentiles trust. It's talking about Jesus. And in and on his name will the Gentiles, the people outside of Israel, set their hopes. That's what Matthew says. In and on whose name? Jesus, who is the wonderful counselor, mighty God, 
everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And on his name, we set our hopes. And in his name, we trust. And he, Jesus, the word, the light, brings us out of prison. You are not bound any longer. Jesus has unlocked the handcuffs that would hold you, that would keep you, that would, that would just bind you, unable to, to, to free yourselves. But he's unlocked them. And so we lay aside every weight that would so easily entangle us. And we allow the truth and the way and the light who is Jesus the Word, to come in and dissolve, loosen, and undo the works that the devil has done. I cannot wait to dig into you next week. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.